Today, I'm going to review and test the new Diode Dynamics SL2 Pro LED headlight. And as you can see, there's nothing quite like it out there. But how does it perform? We're going to find out. Hello everyone and welcome to Carlite Reviews where I review and test car lighting upgrades in a simple and easy to understand manner so you can make the safest and best choice when it comes to upgrading your vehicle lighting and hopefully save you some money in the process. Diode Dynamics is one of the most well known and most respected names in the automotive lighting industry. They've been around for around 17 years. They're headquartered in St. Charles, Missouri, and I found that their published specifications are pretty accurate because they use industry standard measurements to generate their numbers, which means they don't guess or inflate the numbers to sell products. And I've personally had great experiences with Diode Dynamics products over quite a few years. Before I started this channel, I covered their SL1 LED headlight on my other channel, In Jason's Garage, twice. The first one was around four years ago where I did a basic review video, and then two years later, which is around two years ago, I did a Lux test on them, similar to how I do on this channel, along with their SS3 Pro Max off-road light. And from then on, I used them in one of my personal vehicles for quite a while with very good results. I will put a link to that other video in the description if you want to check that out. My current test methods have indeed evolved since then on this channel and they're going to continue to do so but how i tested these then was similar and it showed very impressive results for the sl1 it does have oem quality throughout and it retained a very high 91 percent light output over time which is rather unheard of now while it was not the brightest compared to others that i've tested on this channel since then as i say often there's just a lot more to vehicle lighting than just brightness. There's also the engineering and efficient design that uses the light output correctly and effectively. And plus there's quality warranty and service to consider. Diode Dynamics has that covered. However, as I continued to test more and more lights on this channel and the brightness numbers increased, I did make it a point to talk to Diode Dynamics more than once at SEMA or PRI or maybe even both. And I told them of my thoughts about how the SL1 was indeed incredible quality, an excellent light output accuracy, and asked if they had plans for more. And I even said, perhaps, an SL2. And they were pretty tight-lipped about it, and I am in no way saying that I inspired the name, but I am excited that my hopes came true. So can the new SL2 Pro improve on the tried-and-true SL1? Well, that's what we are here to find out together. So let's dig in by getting a closer look before I get to my projector and reflector tests. Sticker sheet. And you can see they use the same packaging that they used to use for the SL1. And they keep it nice and simple. You get two lights see right there an allen wrench okay let's talk about the published specifications first of all this is designed and engineered in the usa with patents pending 21 watts each 2400 lumens each and i'm going to stop right there that might seem awfully low and it is awfully low compared to the published specifications of the other lights that I've tested. But just remember diode dynamics uses industry standard measurements. So those numbers are real and accurate. 6,000 K color temperature. The chip is a TST automotive grade led. And I'm going to talk about what TST means in a little bit. Doesn't mention an IP rating, but it doesn't need to because this has gone through an SAE J575 durability test, and I'll explain what that is in a little bit as well. Doesn't mention an hour rating, but that's also not needed because this does have a lifetime warranty. It does have an adjustable collar. That's what the Allen wrench is for, and that's something that the SL1 did not have. Fan for heat management, yes, and you can see that it's different than anything else that I've tested, and we're gonna talk about this more. The driver is internal. This is an all-in-one design. As I mentioned, lifetime warranty on it. Price at the time of this video per pair, not including any discounts or coupon codes, $199.95. And I do have a coupon code for you. I will talk about that a little bit later as well. 
So let's talk a bit more about that SAE J575 durability test, which is a suite of laboratory tests and test methods and equipment and requirements for lighting devices. And some of the tests include photometry, vibration, impact, abrasion and warpage on any plastic components, internal heat and thermal cycle, water intrusion, meaning the device's ability to resist moisture intrusion from water spray and assesses the drainage capability if needed, if, if there's drain holes, which I don't believe this needs. Humidity, it measures the resistance to moisture accumulation, which can cause some physical defects and affect the beam performance and output. Dust exposure and even corrosion. You really don't see this sort of information often when it comes to LED lights, but the SL2 Pro passed all the test. That is very impressive right out of the gate. So here's my observations. With it being an all-in-one design, it is fully integrated, there's no wires or external drivers, and I was pretty surprised at this from Dio Dynamics because typically all-in-one styles don't do better in terms of light output and heat management uh, as than the kind with an external driver, such as the SL1. We're going to find out if that's any different. The material is all aluminum from top to bottom, has a copper PCB inside, but it is a completely sealed housing to get that passing score on that SAE durability test. From a design standpoint, you see it's got what looks like heat sink fins here on the sides and here around the base, but these fins right here do so much more than that. I'm going to show you in just a second. Has the Dio Dynamics logo on the bottom, which is just a nice touch, but otherwise, this is a very simple and clean design. Now let's talk about the obvious difference from all the other lights out there, and that is this integrated top mounted fan. And right away, some are gonna say, well, now you're just blasting hot air toward the headlight lens. Nope, it actually works the opposite. It spins in an opposite direction, so it draws air in through these holes right there and down along the board and emitter, and that's what these ribs right here do. They divert the air away after it passes over the emitter. While most of the other lights that I've tested use heat pipes to draw the heat to the fan on the back away from the unit, the SL2 Pro keeps it pretty simple and more efficient. And I think this is a very daring way to deviate from the standard design, but being innovative is what's always made diode dynamics pretty interesting to me. So then you might say, well, you're just circulating hot air around inside the headlight capsule. Well, not exactly. See, the main purpose of an LED headlights fan is to regulate heat at the LED emitter to retain brightness and longevity. With the fan on the top of the unit, the cooling happens right next to the LEDs, the source of the heat. And there is a temperature difference in the air when the fan forces it toward the emitter. And another thing to keep in mind is I tested the heat of a halogen bulb and it quickly surpasses well over 700 degrees Fahrenheit over twice what the LED alternatives that I have tested run at. Since the fan is sealed inside the headlight housing, there's no concerns about damage from dust or moisture over time if you don't have a dust cap, and less chance of an issue with fitting under a factory dust cap if you do have one, and more and more cars being produced do. Now, I measured from the trailing edge of the collar mounting tabs to the back of the unit, and it is around 32 millimeters, just a bit larger than halogen by about 10 millimeters. Now let's take a closer look at the emitter, or some call it a chip. I mentioned it is a TST chip, and that stands for Thermal Separation Technology. You see these positive and negative connectors right here? Ever seen them before? Probably not, because usually they're on the bottom side of the LED hidden, which doesn't allow the entire LED base to fully secure to the board, which means it has less surface area to transfer heat through and away. This design allows the entire bottom surface of the LED emitter to transfer heat from the LED, which means more efficiency. Diodynamics has a dedicated video on their channel that explains this more. Check it out, it's really interesting. So while all of this design of the SL2 Pro is very unique, how does it test in my test environment? Well, we are going to find out. Now, new viewers should watch my one minute video showing my test method, which I will link to in the description below. And don't forget to aim your headlights after every replacement or at least yearly. You got to keep that light focused where it belongs. And if you didn't know, LED lights as halogen replacements are only street legal in the US for off-road use only check your local laws. And if you do decide to grab a set 
of these because of this or any of my videos, go ahead and use the links in the description. They are affiliate links, but that does not change my test results or opinion one bit. And I'll also include any coupon codes if I have them to help you save some money. Using those links also helps me test more LED light upgrades like this one. And you can also hit the join button on any of my videos and get some membership perks that no one else gets for just a few bucks. Chances are my videos have helped you a lot to save more than that. So feel free to show your appreciation in any way that suits you. And I truly appreciate the support. So now that you have an overview of the new SL2 Pro, let's test it. Now, if you've been a regular viewer of my channel, you're going to notice that I've upgraded my testing methods once again. I now shine the projector and reflector output onto the surface that you see here, which is going to help us see the light output just a bit more clearly than before, especially when we compare against halogen output. In addition, I upgraded to a new lux meter that is not only more compact, but now I can also measure color temperature, which I will mention in each video from now on. This has been a popular request. And finally, I am decreasing the exposure of the images of the test results to also help define the light output accuracy. These changes are a result of everyone's suggestion and support of Carlite Reviews. I appreciate it and I hope you like the improvements. So let's move on. For the SL2 Pro, starting with the projector, 1,149 lux, 424 over the halogen 725 baseline lux measurement, which is below the current average of the lights that I've tested so far on this channel. But keep in mind, this is an all-in-one, which doesn't typically run as bright as the non-all-in-one styles. And also keep in mind, that is the baseline initial projector output number. The reduction over time is what is important because that is what you will actually use after driving for a bit. And after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the United States, it retains an impressive, for an all-in-one, 84% of that light output, a number that is above average for all of the lights that I've tested so far on this channel, and the highest of all of the all-in-one styles I have tested so far. This one has excellent light retention. The result, 965 projected lux over time, which is 240 lux over halogen. And speaking of halogen, let's compare the SL2 Pro's projector output to halogen. While the cutoff is a bit brighter than halogen to keep the hot spot on the lux meter sensor, the cutoff is nice and crisp. The overall output is very full and consistent, and even more full along the left and right sides than halogen. We do see that the usual weak spot right here is not very weak at all, but it's typically on the weaker side when I'm testing brighter lights, at least according to my testing methods. Overall, I would say that the SL2 Pro's projector output is very good. Now let's take a look at the reflector output. For the reflector, 2,521 lux or 1,611 over the halogen 910 lux. Factoring in that 84% light retention over time, you get 2,118 usable lux or 1,208 over halogen. Like the projector, this is below average of the lights that I've tested so far, but still it is definitely an improvement over halogen. And let's compare the reflector output to halogen. Overall, it does seem to mimic the halogen quite well, albeit a bit brighter. There might be some slight differences in a few places if you look really hard, but it doesn't appear to be anything that I would be concerned about. I think for the reflector, the SL2 Pro also does very well. As mentioned, there's a publish rating of 21 watts per light, and I observed a bit higher than that at 22.1 watts per light. And it is also advertised at a color temperature of 6400, and my meter measured it at, at 5900. For heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my thermal camera recorded a cooler than average for an all-in-one style, 224 degrees Fahrenheit or 106.1 degrees Celsius. So, how does this all compare to all of the other lights that I've tested, including other all-in-one styles? Well, you can compare my data on all of my light test videos by hitting the link in the description that takes you to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows you everything you need to know. Take a look because my data tells the whole story. I expected nothing less from Diode Dynamics with the new SL2 Pro. Now, while it isn't the brightest light on the market, it is still much brighter than halogen and otherwise makes up for it in other ways. If you want the highest quality, most innovative all-in-one LED headlight upgrade on the market with a lifetime warranty, the SL2 Pro is your obvious choice. But that is just my opinion based on my testing. Let me know what you think of the SL2 Pro in the comments below. And if you wanna grab a set, and if you like the work that I put into my videos, it is pretty easy to show your appreciation by using those affiliate links in the description and any coupon codes in the description to make your purchases. There's no extra cost to you 
you, but it helps me make more videos just like this one. You want to be really awesome, hit the join button. If nothing else, of course, you can always just subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, as I continually make more videos like this, so you don't want to miss out on the new releases. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. And everyone who watches this channel knows what comes next, and it is important. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully. Hey, are you still paying attention? Well, I'm going to reward those who are. I'm going to give away some Diodynamic swag, like this hat, this Velcro patch, these sunglasses, these stickers, and this Diodynamics trim set, plus a cool CarLight Reviews flashlight and a couple of bonus CarLight Reviews stickers. All you got to do is comment in this video and say, my favorite thing about the Diodynamics SL2 Pro is, and then give your answer. After we get a handful of comments, I'm going to use a random comment picker to choose the winner, and you're going to get all this. So get in there, comment, let me know what you think of the new Diodynamics SL2 Pro.